Well, good morning to you from another one of my little haunts. I shouldn't say haunts, really. Um, places of prayer. Another empty church building. Uh, it's not the one I normally come in. This is in a little village called South Cove, just a little bit down the coast. But this morning I opened at Jeremiah, and uh, chapter 29. I suppose we're all familiar, aren't we, with the, the verse... 11 it says i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to give you hope and a future kjv puts it uh, slightly differently for i know the thoughts i think towards you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end and that's the one thing isn't it about knowing the lord jesus is that there is an expected end but something sometimes has to happen before we get that expected end. And there are things that God wants us to accept and to deal with, even though we know that the end is going to be glorious. So I just want to share a little bit here from chapter 29, and uh, going from verse 4. And God is exalting the, uh, exhorting the exiles that have been taken from Jerusalem to Babylon. And he's saying these difficult words. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives, and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city, whither I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Not easy, is it, to, to know that God has taken you out of the place where you want to be, the place where you're comfortable, the place where he's blessed you, told you to go into a strange and a foreign land. And not only that, but to tell you that you're going to be spending a long time away from home. Therefore, put down roots, settle, and pray for the place that you've been sent to. We don't always want that, do we? we? We don't always want that. We want to rebel against that. We want to say, well, Lord, I want to go now to where you've placed me, where your, your thoughts are towards me for the end, the expected end. But God is saying, no, I've got a place, first of all, for you to uh, put your feet. It isn't the place where you necessarily want to be, but I have a purpose for you there. And I suppose we can relate that to today, can't we? We're sojourning here on earth. We're waiting for the Messiah to come. But at the same time, he's telling us not to be in a hurry. Put down the roots. Establish yourself. Continue on with life. We're all waiting for the rapture. We're all waiting for that, to, that moment when Jesus arrives in the clouds to take his church. But I think sometimes we can be so busy looking up that we're not looking around us. We're not looking to the work that God has called us to. And it can be a difficult work, and sometimes we want to shirk away from it. I do myself at times. I say, Lord, please, can't you just choose someone else? But God has a purpose and a plan. And sometimes it's right in the middle of a captivity right in the middle of a place where we don't want to be. And he says, in the middle of that place where you don't want to be is where I will do my greatest work with you. I will achieve in you things I couldn't achieve in you when you're just becoming complacent in that peaceful place. He says, no, I'm going to set you up in the midst of a place that's difficult, a place where you might feel uneasy. And at the same time, I'll do a work through you. I'll do something for you that you can't do for yourself. 
because I have people in the captivity that I want you to reach, that I want you to touch. Yes, there's a golden dawn. Yes, there's a wonderful time coming. But at the moment, our feet are here on earth and we're firmly fixed to gravity. But there'll be a time, yes, when Jesus will enable us to defy gravity. And we will lift up to be with him. But before that happens, he says, build houses, plant vineyards, beget children. Go on with your life, day by day, until the day comes when I release you. Because effectively, we're already released in a sense, aren't we? We're in the spirit, we're released. We just have to outwork that release while we're here on earth. I want to just leave that thought with you today. And uh, you may be in a difficult place, a place where you are finding your captivity a little difficult, as we all do. But let's seek peace in it. Let's not seek to run away. Let's complete this, the, the 70 years, as it were. And God's appointed time um, will come to fruition and uh, we will then be delivered. Enjoy your day.